So we have all seen uh, the spate of, of shootings, mass shootings that have ravaged our country recently. Uh, recently. Uh, it seems the solutions aren't adequate to the problem. There are people who say that uh, now there are uh, people who are openly selling backpacks for our kids to go to school. Backpacks. Now, that would imply that these can only happen at school. What if you're in the bathroom? What if you're at church? What if you're at the park? What if you're, uh, you know, at a movie? So you're supposed to carry your backpack everywhere? Uh, Geraldo Rivera has opined that we should have armed guards everywhere we go. Isn't that a military state? Isn't that what that is? Mm. So your solution... So that you can have freedom uh, to carry weapons is for to mitigate everyone else's freedom. Uh, some people have suggested that it was our love of violent video games. It is our love of violent movies. Well, they have the same movies all over the world. Why does it only happen here? They have the same video games all over the world. Now, why does it only happen here? People play those games all the time. Why is it only a certain group of people who feels emboldened to to act on their on their whims? Not only emboldened, but to have the tools to do it. Florida suggested giving teachers guns. It is sad when we look at every other option except t- taking the weapons out of Americans' hands. No one in America needs a weapon that is capable of murdering hundreds of people at one time. That weapon is doing what is exactly what it's supposed to do. If you buy a gun with a hundred drum magazine, you plan on killing a bunch of people really quickly. And these guns get better and better and better. What on earth do you need that gun for? And stop telling me, what if you're a good guy? A good guy doesn't stockpile weapons like that. If you stockpile weapons and bullets and ammunition and flak jackets, you are not a good guy. You're a bad guy waiting to happen. There's a direct correlation between people who who gather these weapons and white supremacists. They do it on purpose. They believe that something's going to happen. When you gather these weapons and, and these provisions, you're not prepping for good. You're not pre- prepping because you believe Jesus is going to come back. You believe there's going to be a race war or your government's going to get out of hand or you're going to be invaded. So let's do what we do. When you go to the drugstore, it's easier. It's a shame in America. It's harder to buy Sudafed than it is weapons. You couldn't buy as many packs of Sudafed as you do guns because the conceit would be you must be doing something wrong. So we got to know who you are. You got to sign this list and we're going to have a national registry where you can't buy others. You can't even go to another city, another part of the town and buy Sudafed. You can't do it because they'll know that you did it. Why don't we do the same thing with guns? Guns of this destructive capacity do not need to be in our hands because they're doing exactly what they're intended to do, which is kill a lot of Americans real fast. Your solution is to give teachers guns and backpacks oh, and having armed guards everywhere. Everywhere, at our churches, at our synagogues, at our mosques, at our schools, at our movies, at our restaurants, at our parks, everywhere, at the parking lot of retail stores. We're going to just have enough armed people walking around to protect us from the people who shouldn't have arms. What does it say about a country that would rather make these huge gesticulations in our our safety in order so that people can keep these weapons? What does it say that we are that cowardly? People right now, it is so bad right now, when they lower the flag at half mass, I can't literally tell which tragedy is from. So our solution is to pretend like we don't see anything or hear anything or this is the price of business. And then people will say, don't politicize this. Now is not the time to politicize this. When is the time? When somebody done something like this, it has become a political conversation. It is in the political arena and it's up to people. That's the way we solve stuff. That's what you are elected to do, to solve the nation's problems. Not to ignore them, not to pretend like they didn't. If you believe that this was a result of mental illness, why did you roll back, protect? why did you make it easier for people with mental illness to have guns? Sure, we need we have a mental illness condition. Sure, we have a mental illness problem. But our problem is and has always been violence. And now we have given that violence instruments of destruction, high capacity instruments that can that are capable of killing a lot of people real fast. Yes, we have a problem. And it's our mindset, our acceptance of violence, and our refusal to do anything about it. More Americans have died at the hands of other Americans than have died in all the wars we've ever fought. ISIS hasn't killed nearly as many people as other people, as domestic terrorists. 
and we refuse to see them or say anything about it. Isn't the old adage, if you see something, say something? That something is enough. 